Hey guys, it's James and only James for yet another episode of Mostly Ramblin' Mast Rider. <laughs> Hello, y'all, Edenoids out there. Edenoids? No, I think it's a Edenoid. I think it's just the name of the planet. Like, people from Michigan are also called Michigans. Like, hey, what? A fellow Michigans, when I meet them, I know them, okay? They're like, oh, hey, I'm up from the UP, Michigan. And I'm like, oh, that's a Uper, Michigan. But if they're saying, oh, hey, what's up, you asshole? Hey, that's a LP, Michigan. Everyone listening is from also, I believe, a Michigan, okay? All right. There's technically two Michigans, but there are millions of Michigans if you catch my drift again. Now we're in Tokyo in Fast and Furious style. Hey guys, it's James. We have a super packed episode. We are doing parts one and two of episode seven and eight of Mast Rider Saban's comma called Super Gold. I know nothing about it, but you can watch it on Bereke Scrubs. I believe I've been saying that name incorrectly. I thought it was Bereke Subs, but it's always been in the description. It's always been accurate there, I believe. So let's get into it. It's a total of 42 minutes-ish, so I'm I'm counting down. I'm sitting at the computer this time. There's nothing else anywhere. I'm not doing two monitors. I'm just doing one saving on energy, baby. All right, let us let me minimize this slightly so I can still make sure we're recording still. All right, please, you can find this maybe on YouTube, but for sure in the comments below, or not comments below, in the description, Bereke Scrubs, it's raw, baby. Ooh, le- Bereke like it raw, Bereke like it raw. All right, guys, do you have it ready? I hope I've been vamping enough for you to say, oh, shoot, I forgot I needed to get this. All right, this is in 480p, but I looked how bad the quality is. It's rough, but who cares? The the, 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 the Hasbro's that B will not release this on DVD. Okay, all right, let's begin. Three, um, oh, no, no, I count down from five. I go five, four, three, two, one, play. And on play is when you push play. I'm on zero, 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 zero. All right. Beginning now. Five, four, three, two, one, play. Mast Rider! Right, went right into it. Oh, yes. The distant planet's called... Eden, Eden, oi! Uh, uh, like that's that's the British version of I'm walking here. You're you, you like you bump into someone at a restaurant and they say, I'm Eden, oi! Uh, you know, and that dude's housing uh, orange slices. Man, I hope they release this someday on DVD. Oh, the powers that be, DVD! I I will be watching, maybe. Maybe Jose and I, for our, you know, like we get stoned and watch movies. Holy shit, that's, this is actually a good idea. It's just a TJ Roberts, Ted Jan Roberts, I think that's his name. Uh, we just watch his movies well stoned. The, I need to find Tiger Heart. There are multiple places that have, wow, this is a special two part mini series. You can't call, Lee Wood dresses up for day? On sale today, maybe. Oh, I gotta turn this up. Thank you. Cause that intro was heavy. Take a look at Dag. Holy Christmas, he's a real life alien man. Whoa, Furbus was kind of feeling it. Damn, he fainted. He said, "My never. I've never seen a spaceman so sultry." Oh. Uh, very. Clever. Who is the most sultry spaceman? Flesh Gordon, probably. It's okay, Furbus, it's me. There, uh, I think it was Flesh Gordon. The dudes who did special effects work on Star Wars, the first one, 
They like they didn't know if they had a further jobs at ILM, so I think they started working on a movie called Flesh Gordon because they're like, well, they, they, we need money, and the people at ILM, like the higher ups, were like, no, 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 you cannot be uh, just come here. We will keep paying you. Stop doing Flesh Gordon. I don't know, but lots of people are really good at it. <laughs> what are other sultry spacemen? Angels are sometimes spacemen. So Jesus is kind of a sultry spaceman. Get down, Fermis. Is this a Halloween episode? I just wanted to show everyone my new costume. So Dex, what do you think? Hmm. He's a bug? Two more legs and a shiny abdomen. Then it will be an accurate imitation of an extra sucking blister beetle. I just wanted huh? to know what you thought about the color. More red. I have to go now. She, I hate this. She is so into this fucking weirdo, and he is just stiff arming. I don't like it. I wanted to hear a good one. Ugh. Ships on Earth are so confusing. On Edenoy, my friends and I always tell each other the truth. Dex, do you miss your friends? Yes. I miss them so much. I miss playing with all my bug friends. See, this is why this show will not work. I know what's going to happen. I might have seeked through. A man from like a Edenoian humanoid shows up. It should have been just a bunch of bugs. Danaeus. Danaeus. Count Dragon's powers on Earth are far greater than we anticipated. They're, they're not that great. We've seen... Six episodes proving that is not the case. Technically eight, because we watch a couple others. <gasps> the Power Ranger. We're seeing Power Ranger. Intruders. What are you doing here? Wait. Interlopers. We come to your planet in peace. Holy Christmas. No, it's true. We received a report that your planet was in danger. You lie. You lie. We're in mission infect gas masks. Horrorcore fans know what that means. Look up mission infect record label horrorcore and you'll see the logo. That's what they look like. Powers of light and truth to become mask writer. Yes. So I'm guessing this is from the introductory episode where they go to Edenoi and they say, Oh, Power Rangers, we're here. Now you shall pay. Now you shall. Ooh. Definitely has the wrong idea about us. Here we'll just submit, say like, just like go into like bow to them and say like, Hey, this is not what we're doing. We're not going to fight. No matter what you do, just curl up in a ball. That's how you prove that you come in peace. Get in the fetal position. Find a womb that you can go into. And then people say, oh, <laughs> no one's trying to conquer a planet from the womb. Maybe Boss Baby was trying to conquer corporate boardrooms from the womb. But no, not whole planets. I gotta watch Boss Baby just so I can reference it more, I think. Because all I know is, like, Boss Baby's a baby boss, voiced by alleged criminal Alec Baldwin. Because he stole my heart in Boss Baby 2. Is the Boss Baby 2, Boss Baby 2 has a lady boss, you know, girl boss, bitch. Uh, but how? Is it like Jane Lynch? That seems like who would be a good boss, lady boss. In the same vein. And Amy Sedaris, she can, oh, Maria Bamford can play a, a sophisticated lady. <laughs> for your assins. Assins where? I said actions, okay? Is this just this episode? We've already seen this before. I might be a little pissed. I, I'm not here for Power Rangers. Power Rangers to me is not the show I want. Power Rangers, kind of two thumbs down. In Like, I'm looking for trash. Power Rangers at least tries to be cool. This show just is what it is. Oh, dang. This dude's into crystals. He's like... So many people I know from high school now. I must not leave. 
He's got crystals on his forehead, crystals in his hands, probably crystals up his yoni. I need a yoni egg. I tried cracking a yoni egg and it, it's not the yolk you want, guys. It's creamy yolk. I will go to the earth. There. There. Earth. Yeah, we know. Because that brat Danaeus will never reach him. Oh man, De Dex is always talking about his buddy Danaeus. It it low key sucks. His king? Oh yeah, he's a prince. I forgot that. My granddad is a king, which makes me the prince. Now that makes you junior prince, grand prince. This dude hasn't shown up in a while. No, I thought I'd wear to the prom. Oh, well. She does. You really do look like a bug. What I mean is, oh, never mind. I'll see you later. I feel so bad for her. She wants to impress Dex so badly, and she's going to so far reaches. This is a woman who is actively be like comparatively from let's say seven weeks ago she was this cool popular girl who would uh, six weeks ago not been caught dead looking like this but she wants deck so bad she oh dang she's just into eda noise i'm just into michigan's okay every woman i've dated is a michigan okay and the woman I love and will forever be intertwined with is a Michigan. Would you be able to tell me where I may find Prince Dex? Did you say Prince Dex? Whoa. He doesn't know the social decorums, the norms that they're trying to hide that the fact he a prince. So no, now she wants him even more. I knew there was something strange about Dex. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. I am a cool girl. Why else would I have dressed like, it? not just dressed like, I made a bug costume. I missed out on social events of the year toiling over this bug cosplay for this man, but no, he's a prince. Of course, that's the only way I would be doing this. I was caught in the royal allure of a prince. I'm now a holiday rom-com. I would love a holiday rom-com like this, where it's an alien, wow. Yeah, a lot of romance novels are women falling in love with aliens and mystical creatures. Okay. Hallmark needs to get in on that, that, that wave, and I'm gonna bring them there. The, f the freaking cold just ruined me for a week. I was out in 20, uh, negative 20 degree weather, and it just, I was on a roll with writing a script, and now it, I'm just exhausted. Money mono, money mono sneaky. Money mono sneaky. Hello again, Patsy. Come in. I am Patsy. Well, money go, mo. Dex here? No, you just missed him. Did Dex decide to go with the prince costume? Well, I thought he was going to be an astronaut. Hmm. Oh, damn. It is of the utmost importance that I speak with him. Oh, oh. oh dang, is it alien alert? What's that noise? Ow! It's the alien alert. Uh, just a home security system that Dex and I were out. Uh, uh, she knows now, right? King Lexian has sent me from Edenoi. What'd you say? My ears are still ringing. Okay, she doesn't know. I am Donaeus. From, from Pittsburgh, no doubt, or some other... From Pittsburgh, no doubt, eh? Look, He's from the Rust Belt, going through some tough stuff right now, eh? Say hello to him, everyone. Hi. Because, you know, the recession and such. Another cousin? Avloid. It's so weird. His family is so weird. But if he's a cousin, that would also make him a prince, lady. What's he eating? Diavloid? How do we know you're Dex's friend? Oh, from freaking Furbis, dude. Denise! 
Tenayas, money mono. Tenayas, give me a kiss, money gomo. They just start Frenching. And they're like, oh, this must be an Edenoi uh, ritual. And they're like, oh, no, we're just like, we got the hots for each other. And they start making out again. Freaking red rockets everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Edenoi's also have red rockets. Thank you for your assistance. Oops. Thank you for your assist. <laughs> Dex's friends are such nice insects. Whoa, uh, calling me a freaking bug? Who are you, Willie Mac and Lucha Underground? Don't call me a bug. Room 207. That's where the the creepy lady lives. Room 207, The Shining. Maybe not quite so fast. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let me show you how posters supposed to look. Look at her in what uh, the quality makes it look like she's in her tracksuit. Perhaps this might be a good moment to practice discretion. Founders. That's a good one. I don't know what MAS means. Oh, is that their school? Money. Come on. Chopped them right in the gutters. Nicole said my gutters are no longer worms. They're just like their own entity now. Yay, yay. They're just like bulky as hell. And I ain't talking about Skull's best friend. Doink. If you're working on a comedy and you're like, how, how do we make this joke land a little better? Put in a doink. Especially like Gen Z humor, they they love those Hanna Barbera uh, uh, sound effects just thrown in into real life situations. I'm not lying. If you watch like meme compilations, I watch Jimmy here. Uh, yeah, those fuckers love anything like that. Oh, because they they weren't finished. It's great. Oh, ow. What is wrong with you, Dex? Dex, you okay? Dex, you okay? His mirror showed up. Dex, what's the matter? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think someone I care about is in trouble. Someone I care about is in muggle. I told you my maggots would do the job. <laughs> they haven't before, so it's, uh... When the Farrier's plan actually works. Oh, dang, you do look like jerks. We have a gift. Or do the maggots look like jerks? Hey, I'm a maggot, okay? I love Slipknot. You were Prince Dex's troublemakers. Troublemakers. Why did King Lexian send you to Earth? I'm not talking, Count Dragon. What a pity. For you, that is. Oh, shoot. means I have no choice but to turn you against the prince. But to slice your neck. see what you say. Imagine torture of this, like, it's just paper cuts on your neck. Just, like, one defined paper cut a day. Ugh. That, and you're just, like, you're in shackles so you can't, like, cover it to make it feel better. Oh, man. And maybe the paper has like salt, like it's been soaked in salt water and then it dries out and then it's, oh geez, aren't I fucked up? Don't I have a sick and twisted mind of Sid Voorhees? Tell me something I don't Tell me something I don't know, you piece of scrap metal. I'm not scrap metal, dude. I won't do it. That's derogatory towards bots, man. Because if a robot is made of scrap metal, it's not their fault, brother. And, you know, we're such a far in advanced intel artificial intelligence that, like, we are just normal people. So now she's into him? Sure, Patsy. Oh, what's he? How is how is he gonna mess this up? Is he gonna lift her up so hard that her head falls th like flies through the ceiling? Denise, 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 me, 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 money, go, mo. What was that, Patsy? I've gotta go. Go where? She just farted in his face. 
I'm still here, babe. She doesn't want your ass, okay? You smell. And guess what? It was actually him who farted in Dex's face. And she took the blame for it because Patsy is so desperate, so caught in her own feelings that she's like, well, maybe he likes farts in his face. But then it's like that that dweeb asses smell and maybe, you know, he's not eating what what Dex is throwing down. He wants, you know, a patsy fart. We don't know. The show only got one season. If we got to the level of uh, Mast Rider being as far as Power Rangers, we might, we might have found out what farts Dex is into. Because, you know, Ninja Steel had too many farts. I'm afraid that gift may now be in the hands of Count Dragon. Uh oh. To think of something, but what? For now, you must continue your Earth activities. All right. If I As you would. Son, he will not wait long to act. Pissy Gobo. Oh, talking bike. Yes, talking I'm car. I'm so sorry. Talking lady. <laughs> Apologizing to a car. You got that right. Apology accepted. Oh, hell yeah. She's not spiteful. Cars aren't spiteful. I'm afraid not. They're... My grandfather's right. Spokeful? Cars have spokes, right? Some of them. They're... It's time I present Not oil. Like, what's a... Spurtful? No. They're spriteful. If I'm going to McDonald's and getting a fountain drink... In the driveway... Drive through. That dude looks familiar. The power of Robo Rider. Oh dang, we get another rider. Robo Rider Force. Is it just like one of the metal heroes? Robo Rider. I, oh no no, this would this would be a a Robo Rider. But that is just me with antenna, sire, and a new color job. A color job is when artists use um paint to make love. What movie did I watch where people... Oh. <laughs> Gay Bed and Breakfast of Terror. Where they, like, get all covered in paint and then just kind of writhe around on canvas and say, oh, that's your best interpretive art yet. No! Mass Rider, no! Leewood High School. Oh, shoot! You will tell me, where is Mass Rider? We don't know who the fuck that is, dude. We're teenagers. All we care about is Slipknot and being cool. Slipknot's probably not around in 95. I mean, they're around, but... Whoa, that's a moo cow! No face coverings. The tardy bell is already run. Do you... Then why were all those children outside? Uh, never mind. Whoa, he's got the force! And he's Julius Caesar. He's about to get stabbed in the back. And he's Albert Einstein. He's about to E equals MC squared. My insectopathic feeling is telling me something is very wrong. This is one of the episodes where I should have been not talking in the beginning to find out why everyone's in costumes. This is more of a Halloween episode than the Halloween episode we watched. You are not masked. Therefore, you are of no use to me. Gadish. <laughs> He's blinded me. I'm blind. Tell him I am here. Send him to me at once. Oh boy. Winner, 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 winner. I don't think this is a real high school. I think this is a set because when they look a little high up. I'm not seeing ceiling, right? It's worse than that. How could it be worse? I recognize the voice. 
Count Dragon's latest warrior is my best friend. LB? <gasps> no it's Danaeus. You've never talked of Danaeus. Or maybe this is a real school. Yeah, never mind. I'm lying out my ass. My eyes deceived me. They're sealing. Why not make a ceiling when you're on a set? Actually, they do. On Community, That those were sets and they had ceilings. That's See, that's the, what, like, a multicam sitcom. They need ceilings. And uh, Modern Family, their whole house is a set. Let me help. You help But which families? I am Prince Dex of Edenwood. Holy Christmas. How would he not know? He should still have like knowledge of Dex. I do not wish to fight you, Danaeus. But if we must, then so Denardus is more like it. Never. I have all your power. Dataris? Doctor Who? Leewood High School Masquerade Ball. Oh, it's a masquerade. The Founders Masquerade Ball. Master Runner, I'm gonna fight the alien. I don't care. I'm going back to the arcade where it's safe. No running. No. no. Hell yeah. Last episode was the arcade episode. Elby's still, still inside. She loves that dude. Best friend. Excuse me? <laughs> Molly is her best friend. Patsy, honey, no. I feel so bad for this girl. Mr. Chalmers! Mr. Chalmers! Perhaps you bugs would just like to take this outside. Very well. Very well. Kia? I will defeat you if I have to. I will defeat you. I mean, you technically have to defeat him. You should say, I'll, I'll, I'll explode you if I have to. That's, that's my bottom after uh, drinking coffee in the morning. I'll explode you if I have to. I say, oh, please don't, sir. That's if I drink a second cup. First cup, fine. Second cup, I'll explode you if I have to. Am I butt talks? Learned it from Ace Ventura. You can't control it. You underestimate my powers, dear Nefari. Meet my powers grow. Work perfectly. Oh yeah, I got the big muscles, just like Dragon. Now, this time tomorrow, Master Rider and the Earthlings will be mine. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a mini series, guys. Don't you remember who I am? You were my enemy. This is like a Stephen King event mini series. What, what's the be what's your favorite Stephen King miniseries? Don't Danaeus, don't force me to battle you. All right, let's see, uh, let's see all of them. Ugh, ugh. Wow, there's too many. There are so many. Bag of Bones. Okay, we, we now, I can see. Bag of Bones. Golden Years. The Langoliers. Is that the one about the airplane or something? It could be, it could be. Then we have The Outsider. Rose Red. Salem's Lot, Salem's Lot, The Shining, The Stand, The Stand, The Tommy Knockers, and Under the Dome. Where, oh, and It. I was like, where's It at? There's quite a bit. Which one's your favorite? Oh, he would dare. Oh, did, did he say something like, uh, uh, 
Well, LB's gonna take your job as best friend if you don't wise up. He wouldn't dare. I'm sure you will. I'll sucker punch a child when he least expects it. When his bottom is threatening to explode him. Imagine that you're like, oh no, I'm about to Rhea myself. And then like someone comes up to you and just punches you. Do you think you would Rhea? Confess it was my suggestion. Definitely. Would your bowels just evacuate? And I'm saying like you are like if you don't get to a toilet within a minute, you are going to poop yourself. Rhea yourself, I should say. Because pooping yourself is different than diarrheaing yourself. And how long would it would it be like just one quick spurt or would it all come out? I guess like this, the quick spurt would be as much as like when you're hovering over the bowl and you're about to, you know, I'm sorry, guys. You know, like that first like jet stream that comes out. Would that happen? It finally, it, this is it. It took five years to finally get scatological, babe. We get sort of, you know, piss isn't scatological. Don't come at us for that. I await your command, sire. Stop this creature. I should start doing like shit miss where it, it, Nicole it's like the adversary it's like the satanic version of piss miss ah! see butts are exploding in there oh dang someone coming up from the basement why did you start from the 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 the, the under earth Ah, what's this? Another Unite tweet. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Hold it right there. You're not eating anything today. And who's going to stop me? Both of us. Oh, with a tasty snack. Imagine if when you were a child, you were like, ooh, there's, there's a box of cereal. Yum, yum. Gonna eat it up. And your parents come to you and says, you're not eating today. It, like, how messed up that would be. This is a war crime. Allow them to eat. Oi, what a grouch. Anal dentata starving. Oh my god, Dex dressed as a ghost is so cute. Oh my. So glad you're all right. Oh, Molly, I'm so glad you're all right. What Just is... Uh, Thanks for coming to get us, Molly. What's his fit? Uh, Albie dressed as. Is he dressed as Mast Rider? I think he is. Yes, he is. That's so cute. Two attacks at once. You're right, Furbus. That is... Your step... Your adoptive brother can also be your best friend, Dex. So maybe ditch... Desmond and go with the Elby. He clearly is such uh, so fond of you. Count Dragon has turned my best friend into my enemy. Desmond? Now he's unleashed the Eden Tata. The Eden Tata? It's the Edenoid version of an anteater. Anteater? That's that's not too bad. This that's not too bad. Digs underground, eats Edenoids, and has a nose over four feet long. Wow, that's, that's bad. only bad for Two people currently on the planet. Like, yeah, if you see it, you're probably going to go, oh, why is this nose so long? But it only eats Edenoids, which would be two people. You, you're hypnotized by that, you freak? You call that soothing? Oh. That's like when Nicole burps on Mike, I just am in awe by her. Uh -huh. So you want to know, no, I, I can't, I, I can't, I have no room to judge an Edenoy on what they find hypnotizing and tantalizing. Go, Grease Lightning, go. Guess what I'm doing right now? I'm squeezing my nipples because I don't have a shirt on, baby. It's very hot rock. Like volcanic lava. If the Eden Tata releases the pressure. I mean, like, it is the hottest rock you can get. <laughs> Him running to the door. 
because he has to like look like he's running, but he can't go fast because he he's so close to the door. There's not a lot of room to run. I get why things are the way they are in television. Doesn't mean it doesn't look stupid. But that's what I like about it. You bet. I realized recently I'm done with prestige television. I don't want Fargo. I don't want True Detective. I don't want any of this, like, really, like, oh, everyone's watching it. I'm not going to be watching any Game of Thrones and parallel stuff. No. Give me trash shit like this because I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just, I want to watch shit that reminds me like, hey, you want to know what? Maybe you don't blow your brains out today. Like we were watching this, this shot on video movie from 1991, I believe, called Frankie and His Pals. And it was finally released on DVD for the first time. And I, it's, it's like a regional horror movie, horror comedy, and I just love that shit. And this one had production value. Nicole will say it doesn't, but, like, it has made sets. And that's production value. And about half, like, nah, not even half, about 30 minutes in, I go, man, this movie fucking rules. And Nicole goes, I'm glad you like it because I hate it. And I go, oh, no, it was our day off. So I was like, I don't want to just be watching something that you are actively hating, like ruining your high. So you wa- let's let's move on to and this is shot on video and the master tapes aren't of like no one knows where they are. So they, they had to just rip the like the best VHS that they could find. So it looks like that, but y- y- it, it looks better than what we're watching right now. I'll tell you what. So we start watching a haunting in Venice, and it was so such a a drastic change in quality that for the first until like we we were introduced to like Tina Fey I thought we were just watching a commercial leading up to a trashy movie on Tubi but yeah like I, that 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 movie was good I like a mystery but I don't want a drawn out depressing mystery give me a 90 minute movie maybe a 100 minute I'll go there of a mystery and give me, uh, make it good, make me be like, oh my God, of course it was them. But I'll say A Haunting in Venice is a little trashy because there's a paranormal element to it. So, you, you can't claim that you're Mind Hunter. Uh, you want to know what? If there was another season of Mind Hunter, I would watch that. I, because actually, I like true crime shit still and that is uh, true crime adjacent and we oh no man nicole and i need to finish up uh what's it called friend of the family yeah well well we gotta watch bad lieutenant port of call new orleans tonight so we can record tomorrow but yeah man that movie or that TV series is fudged. Oh boy, oh boy. Messed up, baby. But well done. Yeah! Great effects right there, baby. Sorry, I was yawning. But if you're into trashy shit and shot on video stuff, I highly recommend Frankie and His Pails. It's on Tubi. You can watch it for free or you can buy it on DVD. It's got some bonus features. But I'm going to have to finish it up when Nicole is out of town, which will happen next month. Yeah! Hey, if you're in sh- the Chicago area at Demon Tap on Sunday, we'll be there tabling. Oh no, my. Oh no, I have to thwip you with my hernia. 
I am Edenoi. Rep, 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 rep. Yeah, boy. Look what you've done. I'm Desmond, your best friend. I tried only to stun you. Say where you are. I don't remember who I am. That weird cut. I envision it. And there it is. Oh, this nasty little bomb. I'm going to bring me some nice lunch too much. A nice, tasty mess rider. You can't cook with explosives. I can't remember what it is. You don't remember anything? I must be here to fight you. Wait, don't attack. Let me show you something. What? Let me show you who you really are. He has a, like, he pulls out a wallet and it's just full of Desmond photos. See, it's me, your best friend. We share so many memories. No! That, that is me. That is me. I'm the man with the beard. Nope, nope, that's, that's not you. That's your king. Oh no. I follow a monarchy. Yes, and I'm the prince. Oh no. Yes, my friend. It is good to see you. Desmond. Dex. Dex, I brought you a gift from King Lexian. Okay. From grandfather? This crystal. Okay. I will enable you to transform into mass rider super gold. <gasps> Your new power will strengthen you. Why did we see the Power Rangers stuff? No reason to show us that, except, you know, how would we have filled two episodes? Just give us more Patsy and Molly hanging out. They're best friends. And that's better than seeing Power Rangers stuff. Throw a little money gomo in there. He's gonna become super gold. Oh, I think this is we were talking about this on the name of Edenoid. Transform me now. He got that Yoni crystal. On the Halloween episode. Is this the or no, I think we saw like some blue one. Cause this is blue and they're saying it's super gold. Whoa! Ay, ay, ay. Now this shit rules. I want to call this super gold, but I get it. What have you been up to, oh, you've arrived! And then he just, like, beats this shit out of him. He's like, no! You got too strong! It's like when you fight an enemy in an RPG and you lose. Or, I guess, like a gym leader in a... In a in a Pokemon game and you lose and then you just like train for what well, what's probably like a day and then you come back and they're like oh this piece of shit and you're like 20 levels higher and you just one shot every single Pokemon do twice their HP and damage uh, and kill every single Pokemon and they're like oh fuck man shit I should have just given you the badge Master Rider destroyed the Eden Tata. Oh, and one back his cousin friend to boot. Tata's, baby. It was your stupid idea. You're all at fault. Man, a Pokemon, the manga, real good. I'm gonna have to have a podcast where I, I, I just talk about comics that I'm reading, because I'm reading so many. Batman Offworld Rules. It's a new series. Doug Mankey is the pencil artist on it. So good. And the inker and color is uh, so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, everyone. Hell yeah. There's anything left in the kitchen. That money gomo loves treats. Aww. You're right. Mimi sticky burns. Thank you for the power of the super gold. You're welcome. Lexine and Farian will be pleased. Now give me a power of your super kiss. Family. He had everything here too. <laughs> yes. Wow, man. Yes, it is. Furbus needs on a leash. Throw him in the backyard. Yeah. 
At least when there's sweets around. When there's sweets, you're on the leash. Goodbye. It's not the best rhyme, but you have the E sound. One's a hard consonant. One sort of like a soft ish would sh be. Let's see what like soft consonants are. Has Dex seen the last? Has Dex been a boy? Will Nefaria learn the true meaning of rock and roll? Will Mr. Chalmers restore? I hope so. Okay, you have. S, F, Ha, and F. But, so... Will Dex ever see his sh, sh, I, is Sh not a one of them? More on the next exciting adventure of Masked Rider. I don't know. All right. Well, it's repeating. Thank you guys so much for watching along with this. This was a really good episode. I like the patsy stuff man if this ever gets released on dvd or just streaming in general i'm gonna be re-watching these on my own stoned out of my head and having so much fun seeing like the detail and how it was meant to be this needs to be preserved as in the peak quality i know bereke scrubs you did a great job but we need just we this needs to be released as it should be you know I'll get off my high horse. Hey, guys, listen to my music under Marshland Monster. Have a new single with Dragon Boy Suede, I hope, coming out February 23rd called Goods on Display, acronymed God, G-O-D. Got them goods on display. It's so good. I think that's the best one for the album. And the album, after that's out, all I got to do is, like, start mixing it. Actually, that's... I got to throw that on my February to-do list so it can be out in April. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're, I think 11 or 12 tracks. The, it's a good time. Dragon Boy Suede. Also, listen to Howard Kramer, his podcasts, Who Charted, wherever podcasts are found, or Grift Horse, wherever podcasts are found. Grift Horse, you will make money listening to that show. It's two comedians, Howard and Megan Beth Keister, because Howard's full name is Howard Beth Keister. They discuss like grifting corporations to, to th minimal things of, hey, did you know if you go on like the Starbucks app, you can like do this thing to just constantly get free coffee. Uh, there's things like that, like loopholes within apps and other like corporate speak and all of that to the stuff like, hey, Go on like Craigslist free section. And if you're looking for things like this, you can then flip it on eBay for a lot of money. The gambits cross many boundaries and we'll put, you know, and then you could write in and be like, hey, maybe you do stuff like that. In this world of gig economy, you might need to do things of that ilk. So check that out. That's why that's how Howard and I started doing music together. I'm like, hey, if we get on Spotify and if we get on like playlists and stuff, we can start just like accumulating money. So yeah, brothers, get on it. Yeah. Who charted? Also very funny. It's been going on for 13, 14 years now. So there's a lot of content. It's them counting down comedically the top five in movies and music every week. It's so good. It's it, Howard Kramer's my favorite podcaster. So check those out and listen to my other podcasts such as Death From Above. No, not Death From Above. Death to Squids. Sweaty Time Pro Wrestling, Shuffling the Deck. Those are all on the Marshland Media Podcast feed. Wherever you're listening to this, you can listen to that as well. Listen to Formulaic, a podcast in script writing. Next month, we are doing A Pup Named Scooby-Doo. We're going to be breaking that because we we wrote like a movie script last month for December. We need, uh, whenever we need something easy to go back to, we're just going back to Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. Listen to Hit It and Crit It, Sweet Child of Time, it's, uh, anything, everything I've done, go check it out. But if you'd like to support us, please, if you have the means to do so, even a dollar a month, head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod, where for $5 a month, you get exclusive content every single Friday. We, there, we've been doing it for like four years now. There's 
over like 200 episodes that you will have access to. So go check that out. It's a good time. This week is Engaged with Nicolas Cage. We'll be discussing that one thing. I know what it's called. Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans. It's a batshit movie. You got all of talking about Beyblade, all of Death to, not Death to Squids, Death from Above, a Sam and Max podcast. This existed with Corey and I last week. We did Pumpkin and mostly speaking Sentai After Dark, where we've been going through all of Akiba Ranger, Nicole and I. So check that out. But if you want to support even more and you have the means to do so, head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod. Already said that. And $10 a month, you get all the weekly stuff plus bonus monthly exclusive content. I believe our boss Z or Nicole's former boss, my current boss Z, they're coming back over to discuss whatever shark movie they want to discuss. It could be Santa Jaws. It could be Ghost Shark. It could be Zombie Shark. It could be Ozark Sharks. Whatever. We'll be discussing shark movies, okay, on Straight to Patreon. And you get shout-outs on every single free feed podcast. So let's begin with those, starting with Steve F., Eric Berry of Ranger Command Power Hour, Alex Z, The Waz, Orion, Jordan B., The Chaos Witch, my big old brother in common law, Joshua, Jakus, Steve Barnes, A Sweet Child of Time, and Introvoid. Go check out his music. My mother, Lil Corey. Oh, also speaking of my mom, uh, and speaking of this existed, and soon to be Corey's BFF and former roommate Shane, my mom sent over a DVD copy of Mommy Dearest, so we'll finally be able to watch that on this existed, even though I want my mom to be in the room to discuss the movie with us because it's her and my Aunt Stacy's favorite movie, at least in teenage years. They can quote everything from it. They watched it a bunch, but... Coming in at another $10 patron, it's that Feddy. Not that Feddy, that Fed. Twitch.tv forward slash core winning, it's core win. And from the ROM complex, which is celebrating 200 episodes. Also, next episode is 200th episode of Mostly Speaking Sentai, which from the ROM complex celebrating their 200th episode on the same exact day. Next Thursday, February 1st, and from Formulaic, a podcast and script writing, it's twitch.tv forward slash R2 Shelby 2. R2 Shelby 2 will be the guest on our 200th episode. We don't, we don't need big guests. We need tried and true guests for these big episodes because the Corwin one worked so well. Of course, we're going to Shelby. Shelby's hilarious. Shelby works as both a Corwin and I'm trying to think in like maybe like a Jose like Shelby is the the great mediator in the sense that Shelby's game for my shit and Shelby's uh, totally on Nicole's side when it's like oh James you are this is too weird so guys check that out be excited for that at least I hope that's happening if I just uh talked that up she confirmed so don't worry, it should be R2. And also listen to the Rom Complex. 200 episodes of discussing rom coms. And I edit that episode every three episodes. So check it out. I'll be editing the 200th episode. And on that twitch.tv forward slash R2 Shelby 2, she is doing an all day stream, I believe, celebrating that. I will be partaking in it. For every new Patreon for the ROM complex they get, I'm doing a hot ones last dab because if they get to a certain amount, I'm just editing every episode of theirs. So Check that out. I'm very excited. And I hope you had a great time listening to this today. I've been James, and we've been mostly rambling Mast Rider. Bye-bye. This has been a Marshland Media production produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod and sign up today. Oh, yeah.